what club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Then after class, yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. Shalom, y'all. Most High Christ bless. I'm Captain Gad to my left. Officer Don. To my right. Officer Nahasa. Hey, we here in IUIC Denver, man. We're going to get it in. We're going to get it in. Today's class is called My Lazy Son Won't Leave My House. You know what? You know what? I'm going to add a word to that. My lazy ass son right. won't leave my house that he don't pay no bills at. He don't even work. He still get allowances. Brian never understood that. How you still, you 20 something years old, right. you get allowance from your mama, and your, your mommy and daddy. Mommy and daddy. Mama. Mama. Dad, dad. Give me titty. 20, right. <laughs> Give me milk. <laughs> I want <laughs> breast milk. But like, man, I'm, I'm dry, son. She be like, son, I ain't got no more to give you. Yeah. You might yell. You better pump. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You better taste some damn ashwagandha or something to start producing some, uh, what's it, uh, mother's milk. Yeah, mother's milk. You yeah. better taste some mother's milk. <laughs> Sister, know what I'm talking about. Right. You better take some mother's milk yeah, and start producing some milk. Producer, but yeah. I need some milk. I don't want to drink no Similac. Yeah. I want your milk, I mama. Give mama me that tit. Give me that tit. And brother be almost 30 years old. Wham. Still living old with his mama doing nothing. Right. And get Romans 15 and 4. Lazy the book brothers, of Romans, man. chapter 15 and verse 4. Read out. For whatsoever things were written aforetime uh -huh. were written for our learning. God said what was written before time was written for us to learn from. That means you got to read for you brothers without a Bible. How you, how you come to the, uh, the school without a Bible? That, that's, that, that, that amazes me. You come to a class. Right, a class. Class. It ain't like it's like You know a, when you coming? It ain't like we just coming to kick it like a escape the sin. Even though you need to still need the Bible then, but you come to a whole class. Come to a whole class. You know you coming to class. You yeah. see your mom grab your her Bible. Right. And you're like, no, I'm good. I don't need one. Because she didn't bring it forward. I know the book back and forth. <laughs> yeah, right. She didn't say, did you get your Bible? <laughs> yeah. She was like, oh, it's just him. <laughs> yeah. Mama got it from yeah. me. You got my Bible, mama? <laughs> I sure enough do, son. Yeah. I know you're 30 years old. <laughs> uh, you say, is meal? that it on that? No, sir. Read. Read. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. So in order to have hope in these last days, you have to be reading, y'all. Without the, uh, um, the attributes of reading, you would not have hope in these last days. That's how you build your faith. That's how you build your, your strength up to endure persecution, to endure jail, to endure prison, to endure getting beat. You have to read, man. You have to. And you got to read over and over and over and over because when you do that, the Lord will reveal things to you time after time. As, as, as you read more throughout the years, the Lord will reveal stuff to you like, damn, I read this six months ago. I ain't even see that. It's a whole different meaning. Right. That's because the Lord is opening up your your third that third eye. Right. We're you able to see the scriptures better. Uh second Ezra 1033. But now nah, some of y'all don't care. You know what's crazy, bro? You know sisters read more than brothers. Right. Sisters read more than brothers, man. Now yeah. you saying this is the right. Because sisters be reading, they still be demons. They do. <laughs> sisters but, be reading the Bible. <laughs> but, hey, I'm gonna tell you, a sister can read the Bible. They read their four chapters a day, and they still rebel. Right? right. Oh, they want to read the scripture that they could do to get at another sister. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know they read all they read is Proverbs 31, <laughs> and that's it. That's all they read. They don't read nothing else. Yeah, don't do it. She wake up early. Oh, I'm up early today. <laughs> Twelve o'clock. 
Right. I'm up early. That ain't early. Yeah, I, I usually get up at 1. Right. That ain't 12 o'clock ain't early, man. 12 right. o'clock is a bum. You it's said, it's said why it's still night. That means the dog's still out there. Right. Uh, what I say? Second Ezra chapter 6 and 33. Uh, 10, 33. So we got to learn, yo. We got to read and learn. Because y'all brothers still living home with your mommies and, and daddies with no damn job, no life, no car, no ambition to do nothing. Some of y'all need to just go. I ain't saying you got to kick your, your, you know, child. That ain't, that ain't up to me to say. That ain't no me to say. You know, I don't, I'm going to throw that out there. We ain't saying that. Right. We you ain't telling y'all to do you nothing. You know, especially if they, they keeping the commandments. Right. You know, you work with them. Right. But it's going to come a time, man, where <laughs> you're going to have to make that decision. Yeah. It's going to come a time. Yeah, I do like the birds. Definitely got to push him to do something. Yeah, you got to push him out the nest. Push him. Yep. 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 Don't push him. Throw his ass out the nest. <laughs> Some of y'all, hey, some of y'all enable your sons so that so that they know they can stay as long as they want. They don't even want to get a job, so that they ain't, they know if they get a job, they have to uh, uh, start exiting. They don't even want that. They don't even want that to start the process. Uh, right. Yep. They don't want responsibility because they're not being accountable. Accountability. They don't want none of that. Uh, go ahead and read that, soldier. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 10, and verse 33. Go ahead. And he said unto me, stand up manfully. Do what? Stand up manfully. Y'all brothers got to stand up, man. There's stuff going on in the world that I don't think y'all really understand what's happening. NATO just sent 90,000 troops to the Middle East. 90,000. Y'all think this a game? This ain't no game, man. The world about to end. We really about to go through persecution. Right. We ain't going through no persecution yet. We really about to be persecuted. I'm talking about brothers going to leave and not, not come back home. And you brothers that's lollygagging, being slothful, you're going to be the brothers that fold. You're going to fold in that day because you ain't got no foundation. You're not rooted. And when you're not rooted... You're going to turn on everybody, even the same parents that kept your lazy ass in the house. You're going to turn on them. Read it again. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 10 and verse 33. Read. And he said unto me, Go ahead. Stand up manfully. Stand up manfully. Manfully. Can we look that definition up? Let's look up the word manfully. Because some of y'all is, is just, y'all amaze me, man. <clears throat> Y'all amaze me. <clears throat> Read that, so can you see that? Yes, sir. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Manfully, mm -hmm. adverb, as in courageously. Read the next one. In a fearless manner. Fearless. Courageously. Bravely. Uh, 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 how you say that? Valiantly. Valiantly. Boldly. You understand every prophet in the Bible stood up manfully. Every prophet, every disciple in the Bible stood up manfully. Goes in there fearlessly. Everybody that was that 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 was in sin, they was the opposite of courageous. Mm. They was the opposite of brave. Judas was not man, was not manfully. He didn't stand up manfully. Saul didn't stand up manfully. When you read about our forefathers that transgressed they didn't stand up manfully, man. And some of us, some of y'all, is going to be that. You don't have the attribute of being a man. But I'm going to tell you why. Because you've been coddled. Now, some of y'all need a man just to cuss your ass out. Put a put a boot on your back. Right. Like, let's go. Right. That's what some of y'all need. That's what some of y'all need. A lot of the mothers in Israel, they coddle their sons. Yep. They baby them, right. pamper them, right. change their diapers. Right. They're just being cuddled. They never stop cuddling them. Yeah, they never Since stop. Since they was a baby, they just 30 years old, still they still being cuddled. I'm going to say something. <laughs> what happened in the past, you have to let that go. 
Because I know a lot of mothers, they call their sons because stuff happened to them in the past. Yeah. Or they was born with something. Yeah. That's you got to let that stuff go. Let that stuff go. That that son has to become a man. Right. You have to. You have to push right. him to become a man. Right. To be responsible. To be responsible. To be accountable. Accountable. Because if something happened to you, you got to say, okay, I can I can trust that he's going to be able to survive. He's going to take right. Right. <laughs> there you go. That's the point. Right. Because right. you're doing him a disservice by coddling him. Yeah. You're doing a disservice by doing everything for him. Because you're doing everything for him. You're cooking for him. You're cleaning up for him. He ain't going to be able to survive. He ain't going to be able to survive on cereal. That's all right. he know how to do is make him a bowl of cereal. I'm, right. wait, I, I'm, I'm sitting here waiting on mama to cook Even if me. you leave him something, he wouldn't be responsible enough to do anything with it. Right. Yeah, after that time period, he Yeah, even if he had money, done. he don't even know how to right. use money. Respectfully, right. you're he right. Yep. Yep. So, yep. so, yeah, it's a disservice to cuddle it's your kids. It's a disservice, kids. man. We're going to go over that. We're going to go over that, man. Because a lot of times, mothers, it's, it's, it's really mothers, man. Fathers, they're... If the father is okay with it, it's because the mother is pushing him to be okay with it. It's really mothers. You know what I'm saying? It's really the mom like, that's mama's little boy. No, that's a grown-ass man. He's a bum. I'm going to just call it like I see it. He's a bum. Let's watch this. The book of Matthew, chapter 23 and verse 23. Go ahead. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, mm-hmm. hypocrites. Hypocrites. For ye pay tithe of mint. And Anais and Cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law. What's the weightier matters of the law? Go ahead. Judgment. Judgment. Mercy. Mercy. And faith. Now, I want you to understand the sequence that this was, was explained in. The first one is judgment. Then comes mercy. Brothers like to put mercy before judgment. Christ say judgment comes first, and in the judgment, you get mercy from the judgment. That means judgment got to go out. You got to be judged for what you do. But in the midst of that judgment, mercy will be given. Brothers say, oh, mercy, 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 and don't understand that without judgment, they cannot be mercy. Judgment comes first. Always a consequence to what it's you gotta do. Be you got to pay for what you do. got to pay, you yeah. Do. And that's how Esau worked, bro. We black people, we work backwards. My bad, my bad, my bad. How many times going to be your bad? Right. We want to We want to get, we want to just get, um, oh, you forgiven without, like, like getting got on. Yeah, yeah. I forgive you. Here's yeah. your right up. Right, for real. <laughs> yeah. So ain't right. no then games, that word man. become repetitive. Yep. Always say it. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Work with me, my But if you Ooh. never get the judgment, you gonna keep on saying my bad. That's why the judgment yeah, gotta come. It's gotta come, bro. Yeah. It's have to come. And that's why Christ told him and say, "You hypocrite. You neglect the weightier matters of the law." I mean, Christ got enough for not doing what? Judging the people. Judgment, mercy, faith. It said, "This ought ye to have done." And not to leave the other undone. I mean, it all go hand in hand. You got to get judged for what you do, man. You mess up, you get judged. Everybody want mercy. Yeah, I understand. Mercy, yes. Mercy will be extended. Mercy is good. Christ say, bless he that. What did he say? You show mercy, I give you mercy. I give you mercy, yep. I understand it, but damn, bro. How many times you going to, your mercy going to be extended? How many times you going to stop not pay that light bill? Right. Esau give your ass one grace period. And that's it. Like you missed that, that grace period. You can't call it, oh, can I get another one? No. Candle time. I'm going to cut it off, and then I'm going to make you pay a reactivation fee. Right. For real. You got to pay the late fee and the reactivation fee. Golly, man. Y'all brothers got to get y'all stuff in order, bro. Uh, Proverbs 6 and 6. This is how we know you're a bum. Grown-ass man waking up at 3 o'clock in the afternoon every day. Bro, you remember back in the day, we had no job. We got our ass up at the crack of dawn. We was out. See, back then, you had to go 
fill right. out applications. Right. You ain't had no O line where you could sit in your in your damn uh, PJs. Right. With, with you know what I'm saying with milk on your on, right. on your lips. Right. Our you job, had to show up. Our job was finding a job. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, even as a teenager, yeah. my parents didn't allow that. Yeah, no. I had to get your. She come you knock on that door, and get out the bed, yeah. then make the bed. I couldn't even leave a dish on the ta- mm-hmm. on right. the table. You yep. think I'm gonna clean up behind you? Clean the damn dish. Yep. Right. <laughs> but you know what? It teaches you character. For real. Right. Man. Right. A lot of mamas they'd be like, "No, nah, I'm not gonna treat my son like you need to." It teaches his ass it character. It do. It right. do. He a man. He got to go out and and, and, and uh, learn how to be a man. Learn how to be a man. Because when you live, what what we did, we we got in the winter time, we had the the rake with some trash bags, and we went to rake leaves. In the summertime, we we Mow the lawn, that, push that lawn mow. Right. Hey, and, hey, hey, all I need is some gas, mama, and I'm a macho. I'm I'm macho. I was happy to get out of my mama. <laughs> <house. laughs> I'm macho. I was <laughs> I was hey, out about dude. 17, 18. I, I was working. Wait, bro. Yeah. I could not wait. <laughs> I could keep. not stay there. When I got back from color, I think I stayed with my mama like two weeks. And I was gone. Right. Gone. But they pushed me to want to get out. Like, shoot. Yep, yep. Yeah. But make yep. it uncomfortable for you. There you go. Yeah. That uncomfortability is asking questions. Right. Where you going? Why are you in so late? Right. Did you eat? Damn, you ain't on them eggs. Come here late if you want to. I'm locking the door. You get there. Yeah, you bro, get I'm going to tell you one time. I'm going to tell you one time, bro. I'm, I made breakfast, bro. I made breakfast, right? For me. Just me. I ate like eight eggs. Damn. My mama said, boy, you ate eight eggs? Bro, she was on my tail about them eggs, bro. She was pissed. Got ate all the food. I said, you know what? Yeah, you know. I said, I got to go. I want to be able to eat eight eggs when I want to. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? With yeah. nobody saying nothing. Right. I'll eat I want to come in the house when I want to. Right. You know what I'm saying? For real. I don't want to have to wash dishes every night if I ain't got to. For real, though. I'm good. Right. right. I know that's right, man. I didn't like it. Well, I leave a dish, one little cup on the table. I, I, in my mind, I know she could wash that, that right. damn cup. <laughs> I just be pissed off, boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but it make you want to leave the house, right, though, man. Want to get leave, out. man. Bro, uh, even getting woke up to bring in the, the groceries. Right. Man. Go mow the yard. Right. What the hell? You know what? I'm gone. I'm out of here. Like like the uh, like the uh, the grass will grow higher if you slept 30 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> get up, boy. <laughs> oh, she comes snatch the cover. If I didn't get right up, she snatched the cover off. Hey, but that's but you know what? But you know what's crazy, officer? It taught you responsibility. Right. So now you as an older man, that stuff, you know, okay, this stuff got to be taken care of. You know, somebody got to do it. I'm going to be the one to do it. I see my grass need cut. I'm going to be the one to do it. You know what I'm saying? The light bill need paying. I'm making sure it's getting paid on time. That's responsibility is teaching you character. And, 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 and these brothers that staying home not doing nothing but getting everything handed to them, you are teaching them an evil lesson. Because they don't understand responsibility. They don't understand. You understand, these men, they're at home, that ain't doing a damn thing, no job, no nothing. They going to be older men one day. They may have a family. They may have a wife. They may have a kids. They may have kids. You understand? You think they're going to be able to take care of their family? They don't, they don't have the attributes because they ain't learned them. They ain't being pushed to learn them. They being pushed to give everything to them on a on a damn silver platter. Right. Like we ain't in captivity. You in captivity, you a slave. You're doing them a disservice. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter six, verse six. And verse six. Watch this. Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Thou sluggard. Sluggard means slothful bum. Know what that means? God said, go to the ant. That means examine the way the ant moves. You never see an ant stand still. Right. I ain't never seen one. You ever seen an ant stay still? Right. Never. Only, they always only know if they sleep. They always moving. Always on the go. And their mission is to enhance the colony. Always. That is their goal. That's their mission from start to end. God say, go examine the ant. Go ahead. Thou slugger. Thou damn bum. Go. Consider her ways. Consider her ways. And be wise. And be wise. Examining the ant will make you wise. Watch this. Which having no God, overseer, or ruler. Go ahead. Provided her meat in the summer. Provide her meat 
in the summer. Go ahead. And gathereth her food in the harvest. And gathereth her food. Hold that. Go to uh, chapter 13. And gathereth her food in the harvest. Right? Watch this. Watch this, y'all. Some of y'all brothers know how to cook. Yep. The book of Proverbs, chapter 13 and verse 4. Go ahead. The soul of the sluggard desireth. Stop. Stop. Got to slow down. That's so to read that again. Proverbs chapter thirteen and verse four. Go ahead. The soul of the sluggard desireth. That means this bum is always hand out, hand out, hand out, hand out, hand out. Go ahead. And hath nothing. And ain't got nothing to give for. Go ahead. But the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. The soul of the diligent gonna be made fat. Why? Because a- go back, go back, and and chapter six and read that again. Book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 6. This is why the, in verse 8. Go ahead. Verse 8. This is why the soul of the diligent going to be made fat. Go ahead. Provided her meat in the summer. Because that brother's diligent. That brother get up and go to work. Right. You understand? That brother take care of his responsibilities. He ain't no bum. Read. And gathereth her food in the harvest. Go ahead. How long wilt thou sleep? Read that again. How long wilt Wilt thou sleep? How long you going to sleep? Go ahead. Oh, sluggard. Oh, bum. Go ahead. When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? When are you going to wake the hell up? One o'clock. When are you going to wake the hell up? Hey, I'm going to tell you all something. This could also go into Romans 13. Right. When it say wake up out of sleep, right? That's Romans 13. Romans 13. Yeah. Wake up out of sleep for the time is at hand. This goes hand in hand with that. Because if you a bum inside your house, you a bum in the eyes of God, and you sleep, you call yourself Israel, but deep down inside, you a bum. You ain't ready for what's coming. You ain't ready for the for the persecution. You ain't ready for the uh, the, uh, the the famine. Famine, right. You ain't ready. It goes into what we were just talking about. Uh, our mama was like getting on our ass and making us get up. Then one day it pops in our head like, I got to get the hell out of here. Right. So one day in your mind is like, hey, I need to stand up like a man. I know mine was, bro, I, I used to smoke black and miles, and I couldn't smoke a black and miles in the house. Like, bro, I, but I was helping my mama pay the bills. I was like, if I could help my mama pay the bills, I could go and get my own damn house. But at the same time, guess what? We ain't looking at, hey, why am I hindering mom, mama and daddy <laughs> or the truth? From from escalating, cause if, as, if if I stand up as a man, guess what? I give them more room to grow too. I give I give my sister more room to grow. I give the my my young brother more room to grow. He go he go see my example, and and fall out to me. I some need to tick your mind like, what I'm doing is crazy, bro. What, I'm, what? I'm gonna tell you, it yeah. ain't it ain't gonna click. It ain't gonna click until it get real uncomfortable where they stand at. Right. It ain't gonna click. Would it click to you? No. Nope. It wouldn't it, click it to me. Click to me. If, if I was it's not only doing gonna click up. if it gets uncomfortable. Right. Make that brother, make that sister uncomfortable and watch how fast they That's leave it. your ass. Watch how fast they, they show you their ass. Right. They true colors. Get it uncomfortable. Put some put some restrictions. Right. Stop doing what you was doing. Right. Put a put a uh 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 a cap. On what you're doing, and see if they really love you for you. Cause they ain't there, cause they love you. Right. They there cause they love what you do for them. Right. Exactly. Put a cap on it. I'm, I'm telling y'all, man. Make it real uncomfortable and see if they still stay. Right. Re- person that is not willing to to be a man is is not willing to keep the commandments. Of That's God. the point. You hit me right on the head, bro. And we go get to that. Right. And you in the spirit. You in the spirit. Remember, that's why we brought up manfully. Right. Because a brother that ain't willing to be manfully in his truth, they not going to stay. They don't believe. They don't believe. A sister that don't want to uh, 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 do what Titus 2 say, right. they, they don't, don't believe. believe. Like you said, they, they read Proverbs well, 31, know, but they can't can't do none of it. You see it say get up early, but I can't Bro, do you it. know, I'm going to tell y'all straight, man. These sisters, I'm going to tell you, Israel is crazy. 
Israel is, I'm going to just say, Israel's crazy, bro. Mentally. Mentally, yeah, and spiritually. Mentally, bro. How, yo, you got, a, you got a, you got, a, your father, your, your father is a part of leadership. Part of leadership. How can I put this without? I don't want to say no names. Bring it your out. Your father is a part of leadership, but yet you di- you disrespect him by talking to a person that they don't approve. Right. I'm gonna say that again. Your father in leadership. Right. Leadership. Mm-hmm. You living in their house. Right. Soaking up their air, drinking their water, under his protection. You understand? He say no, and you say f you. I do what I want. Why the hell that sister still in my house? Man, right. Gotta go. <laughs> right. Why is she still in my house? Gotta go. Area Why is that up. brother still in my house? Right. Gotta go. If you ain't listening to me. You ain't listening to God because I'm God right. in my house. Right. Why would I provide for Why anybody? would I still be providing for somebody that hate me? There you go. That don't believe. Yeah, that's what it boils down to. You hate me. Why am I still why right. am I still providing? Right. So you don't need me. Hey, right. it's like having a pet or, or a dog that every time you try to feed me, bite you. Uh-uh. I only tell you one time that to, dog is dead. <laughs> you still try to get the food we bite. You got no fingers, and you trying to feed him right. with the other hand. Right. I believe in you. I believe in you, uh, Cujo. Right. Y'all see that movie, Cujo? Yeah. <laughs> I believe in you, Cujo. Cujo didn't play, bro. Right. He was drooling. There. Almost there, pushed the car over. But why is this brother and sister still in my house? Why am I still providing? They ain't, bro, that don't even make sense. Yeah. Listen, it don't make no sense, bro. At all. At all. It's only one thing that makes sense in that equation. Like I said, Israel gonna be mad at me. Hey, bring it out, Cal. I don't care. Hey, ain't no class unless people get mad. Why your ass? Why your black ass? Today? You know I got called black today. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> don't say no name. Got a tan. Don't say no name. I ain't gonna say no name. Now I don't care, bro. <laughs> hey, but 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 think about it though, right? That lets me know one thing: the mother don't respect the father. Damn. This is why. This is why I say that. The father say, "Son, daughter, I don't approve of you pro- talking to this brother." The daughter, the son say, "Nigga." I do what I want. And the father finds out about it, mm-hmm. tells the mother, mm-hmm. and yet they are still in the house. Damn. Still got the phone problem. Still, still got the got phone. The, still got yeah. the phone. All the stuff that you pay for. access to money. Still, yeah. still got access to transportation. No I want you to understand. Why? I want you to understand something. At the end of the day, you're going to die old with your spouse, not your kids. I'm going to tell you straight. When your kids get horny and they fall in love, they going to leave your ass. Right. And guess who's going to come first? <laughs> they going to leave you. Person they with. They going to leave you. Right. And rightfully so. That's the way it's supposed to be done. Right. A man should leave his mother, father cleave to his wife, and they should they shall become one. one right. The, the the daughter becomes the 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 uh submit to her husband. The father is no longer in the picture. Right. So why the hell y'all put your kids over your over your spouse? I never understood that. Even in the world, I never understood that. Why would I put my kids over right. my wife? They don't know nothing. And I don't know them. They don't know a damn thing about the world. Me and this woman got history. Me and you, you I don't even know you. I'm here to discipline you. And through my discipline, it's how you receive love. Right. 
I'm here to be joyful are. with my wife. Right. Y'all be joyful with the kids, but at the drop of a dime, it's discipline time. Vice versa with my wife. I don't understand how y'all put y'all kids over y'all husbands and wives. Yeah, that's crazy as hell. I'm going to tell you straight. If my wife ever allow any one of my kids to disrespect me, they all got to go. I'm just going to be real about it. It is what it is. I'll take it. Because, hey, I'll take whatever happens. I'll take the write-up. I'll take whatever. Oh, you going to allow this? This You going to choose their side against me? Mm. Bye-bye. You choose, you don't choose me, go hit the streets. <laughs> Break it out. Sure. Hey, hey let's, let, let's get back to the scripture. <laughs> Where we at? Otherwise, what you here for? What is that, Proverbs 6? Uh, read. The book of Proverbs. Hey, we have to make this a part two, y'all. This is crazy. Go ahead. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 9. Go ahead. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? O sluggard. When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? you going to rise out of sleep and be a man. Go ahead. Yet a little sleep. A little sleep. A little slumber. Your brothers be like, I just got 10 more minutes. Mm-hmm. Why are you late? I, I snooze for 30 minutes. I thought I could make it on time, but. All right, cool. Keep snoozing. Go ahead. A little fondling of the hands. A little fo- you know, but you know, put the hand Go ahead. <laughs> a little fondling of the hands to sleep. Go ahead. So shall thy poverty come. What happens when you sleep too long? So shall thy poverty come. Come as one that travaileth, mm-hmm. and thou want as an armed man. Go to uh, 2 Thessalonians 3 and 10. God said, your property going to come. And then you're going to be holding out your hand. Can you spare change? Spare change? you be like a bum asking for money on the, on the street. Because you was never held accountable to get a damn job. I heard one brother say, he too good to work at McDonald's. Damn. I heard a sister say she's too good to work at Burger King. You a bomb! What do you mean you too good? Hey, McDonald's pay a lot better today than they did back in the day. They pay more than that. I yeah. seen one at 24. 20, yeah. And then you get like in management position, you hip, you in there. And they pay for your uh, schooling. I said, damn, maybe I need to. Right, go. They even <laughs> train you to, uh, and they feed you. They, right, <laughs> you they could train you to be a, a franchise owner. Also, when you get in a man's position, you could actually start becoming the owner of a of a of a store. And that ain't, hey, I'm gonna tell you, that's not an expensive. It's cheap, bro. Yeah, I looked up one. It was Chick Fil A, but five grand, bro, to start a uh, franchise. Yep. I was like, yeah, but you got to work on. They work on the Sabbath, so. You ain't really got control like that. I was like, nah. But uh, yeah, too good to work. Too good to work. Y'all crazy, man. I'm gonna tell y'all, man. When I ain't have a job, I work for uh, Boston Market. Who meant Boston Market? Yep, yep. Boston, bro. I was a courier. I only used to work like two hours a day. Mm. Oh, you just Boston delivered the, uh, the catering orders. I used to deliver the catering orders, yeah. bro. And, and my wife, Nissan Altima. <laughs> I used to get my ass up. They'll call me. <laughs> hey, you got four orders. I get my ass up, put on a, you know what I'm saying? Put on something nice, go pick up. They used to give me this big old heat box. And I used to be sweating too because I'd have to, you know, walk up and down the stairs and shit. Right. Man. It'll be big orders, bro. But they just get tips. But that was my first job coming out of college. Boston Market, bro. In the meantime, I was still looking for a better job. But I'm like, hey, I got to take something because I ain't got no money. Right. I'm broke. I ain't asking my mama for money. I was only asking uh, uh, Janelle for money. Right. I need some money. These brothers ain't got that ambition. They ain't got that job. These brothers will be bums Man. and be like, oh, I'm trying to become a, 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 a I'm trying to become a uh, what is it called? An uh, astrophysicist. Yeah, they be right. talking about some some stuff we ain't never heard of before. Twenty years of school, your ass yeah. thirty five. Right, living at home with your mama. Work at McDonald's. <laughs> Hell, take your ass to King Super. So it's great, something. King Super. They got you. Get a job. Yeah. Wash cars. <laughs> right. Be a janitor. Pick up trash. Right. 
put a go dough to dough. Yeah. Hey, can I can I mo can I Boy, yo, yo. can I scoop your snow for five dollars? Right. Yeah. Can I walk your walk dog your for dog. a couple bucks? Can I rake your leaves? What do they got no hey, ambition? Hey, you, especially here in Colorado, you can make some money in mowing yards, bro. Bro, you hey hey these crackers will pay you fifty dollars a yard. Can I salt? Man, your, your, driveway. your driveway. Oh man, that's a hustle. I, 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 I'm gonna tell you, I would get up. What time you go to work? I got to work at eight. I would get up at five in the morning yeah. and be that five thirty. And when you get up, the snow gonna be gone, yeah. and I'm gonna salt your 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 driveway for you. Right. You ain't gotta worry about slipping. I got you. Right. And I only do it for fifteen bucks, twenty bucks. There you go. Right. And I would go to every door. 15 bucks. Hey, you, yeah. you see that? You see that driveway? I did that driveway. Right. I only charge 15 bucks. Right. That means you ain't got to get up an hour early to do nothing. Yeah, I got I you. already did it. Right. Brothers ain't got no ambition, bro. Brothers ain't got no ambition. Go ahead and read that. The book of Second Thess- Thessalonians, chapter 3 and verse 10. I don't care if you're mad. Shit. Tough titty. Go ahead. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you Go ahead. that if any would not work, you don't work. Neither should he eat. I say you ain't supposed to be eating, man. I say you 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 want stuff, but you don't pitch in. Like your mama a slave, like your daddy a slave. They slaving. They should be in the they bro. I'm gonna tell you, they at the latter ends of their days. You should be taking care of them. Yeah, if something happened to them, you should be able to maintain the house. To maintain, you know what I'm saying, the bills, maintain, the, you know, your mother, your father, good. They should be like, hey, if something happened to me, I know my son got me or my, or my daughter got me. At least until she get married. Right. Or until he get married. Now, I'm a big advocate for my daughter going to live with me until I marry her off. I'm a big advocate. But she going to be doing something. She going to be going to school or she going to be working. She's going to be doing something. She's going to be sitting there soaking up all the damn good at. And I'm good with my son staying. You know what I'm saying? My son staying at my house. But he's going to be doing something. He's going to have a right. job, a degree, or something. For real. He ain't going to be no damn bum. Yeah, you're a trade. Or, you know, get into a trade. Start, you know, learn how to own your own business. You ain't going to be a bum. You ain't going to be sitting there complaining to me about, why I didn't buy enough food for you. Right. And then you forget your Bible. Right. Then Damn. you say, the hell with you, Dad. I'm going to talk to who I want. Damn. Yeah, I'm going to lie to your face. And guess what? You ain't going to do nothing, nigga. You going <laughs> to take, exactly. take my stuff away for three days, but I'm right. going to get it back. Right. Just lazy, Damn. man. Just bums, man. Y'all. Uh, where we at? Verse 10. Hey, could you, mean, read verse that, could you read that again? The verse 10 again? Yeah, the book ahead. of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 3 and verse 10. Read it. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. Hey, that goes spiritually also. How in the hell you expect to get to the kingdom and you ain't put no bricks no in? No work in. You ain't put no work in. If you ain't put no work in at home, you damn sure so ain't put hey, nothing in there. And you body. capable. Right. It ain't like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like you in a, I can't even say that because people in a wheelchair still go to camp. Right. Still do fly missions. Yo, damn. For real. Brothers though. in wheelchairs. Brothers got shot nine times. He's still damn. going back out there. Right. You damn. know? With that being said, let's read the next one. <laughs> Break it out. <laughs> Verse 11. <laughs> For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly. Right, because not working is out of order. Mm. Not listen to your father is out of order. Yep. All right, read. Working not at all. Working what? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> read. Yeah, but. but are busybodies. But yet they still busybody. They want to talk to different dudes yep. here and there and mm-hmm. do this and do that. Gossiping. Gossip. And everybody business like they got business. You a bum. Use a Damn. bum. Use a bum. Boom. Use a bum. Boom. Use a bum. I say that you's a bum. Boom! Oh, hey, Proverbs 20. <laughs> Proverbs 20. <laughs> hey, go to chapter 20, verse 4. <laughs> we ain't get no bubble. That I, ain't no bubble. I, think I got a little one. 
We got a bomb on that? I heard you a little bit. Bomb? I think it was a little bit of You did a bomb over there? It was a little firecracker bomb. You did one bomb? bomb? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I ain't heard nothing. Usually the bombs be loud, but I guess t- yeah. since it's talking about bombs, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's real quiet yeah. today. Right. <laughs> Hey, read us. The book of Proverbs, <laughs> chapter 20 and verse 4. Go ahead. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. You, did, did we just go with snow plow? We did. The sluggard would not plow. I'm going to tell you, hey, make his ass plow the snow. Right. That's your job. You want a job? Plow the snow. Get your ass up early and go out there and remove that snow from off. The uh from off my you know what? Here's your job. Especially for those that don't got a garage. Right. Get your ass up, turn my car on, right, heat it up, scrape the snow off. You understand? Make sure my car heated up when I get up to go to work. My work car mm-hmm. and, and and my, you know, the car if I gotta drive. Right. Your mama car too. My mama car too. Yeah. Uh uh shovel the snow. Right. Do your due diligence, man, to put in work. Do something. Don't just, brothers be sleep. Daddy get up, go to work, bro, still sleep. Hey, Mama daddy, get up, go to work, bro, still sleep. Daddy get back home and you still bro, sleep. Bro, still sleep. <laughs> yeah. Daddy been home, went on the fly mission and everything. Bro, still Yo, sleep. sleep. Yeah, sad, bro. I'm going to tell, no, tell every sister, stay away from this brother. Stay away from a sluggard-ass brother. Because if he's sluggard as a single brother, just wait till he get that. Never mind. Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm gonna say. Yep. Just wait till he get that. Yeah, right. Yep, we know. And just, just wait. Yo ass, you gonna be able to feed him with great. You ever seen great? The, <laughs> you ever seen like the king be all yeah. be fat and shit, and the, and the women feed him grapes. Yeah. Be fanning him, feeding him grapes, while your ass go to work. He gonna be a stay at home dad. Damn. Playing the game. Right. Playing video games and yeah. eating all the damn bun buns. Right. Uh, what we at? Verse 4. The yeah. sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. Go ahead. Therefore shall he beg in harvest mm-hmm. and have nothing. Therefore shall he beg, 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 bomb. That's what bombs do. Bombs beg. So he going to beg in harvest and have nothing. I ain't got no grains. I ain't got no apples. I ain't got no oranges. I ain't got nothing. I didn't take care of my cattle. What am I eat? What am I eat, Daddy? What am I eat? I said, hey, here's 50 cents. Go buy your ass a pack of uh, ramen noodles and get the hell out of my house. Damn, right. <laughs> Go to uh, Jeezy. I said, hey, 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 I'll praise you, give him 50 cents. Yeah, get, take this 50 cents and go buy your shit. When I was growing up, coming up, I had ramen noodles. Hey, yeah. Ramen noodles and bread. I had ramen noodle sandwiches. I'm saying you did good. Because I ain't got nothing but love for you, baby. <laughs> get your ass on. Nothing but love for <laughs> you, Go figure baby. it out. You said go figure it out. Go figure it out. Was there, well, there better start hitting your back. You're going to want to go eat. You're going to find some way to eat. Uh, Ecclesiastes 10.18. Like we said, when it's done right, we we advocate to keep the daughter inward. Keep your son, you know what I'm saying? So that they don't have to go through none of the, the hardships of the world. That means they're saving money. They have a job. They're learning the scriptures. They're learning how to be a wife. Learn how to be a husband. Learn how to take care of their responsibilities. But if none of that is happening, why are you harboring this fugitive? He's a damn fugitive in your house. Why are you harboring this this traitor? Why? Because your emotions are overriding the scriptures. Read that, Ecclesiastes 10, 18. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10 and verse 10. 18. I'm sorry. 10 and 18. Verse 18. By much slothfulness, mm-hmm. the building decayeth. By much sloth. You got bro- we got brothers that won't can't even edit one video in a week. Forever. It's like the, the, the thrill is gone now. You're doing a Thanksgiving video, it's, it's out in New Year's. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not even that, it's out. 
<laughs> and next Thanksgiving. Yeah, right, next Thanksgiving. Yeah, but you yeah. had a year to do this. Yeah, right. No, you put out Valentine's Day. Right. <laughs> Thanksgiving, you put it out Valentine's Day. Come on, bro. Right. The building would decay, bro. I mean, what? The work. If we don't do the work, the building going to decay. This school, the Lord ain't going to bless us. If we don't make sure there's water here, we don't make sure there's food, we don't make sure there's chairs, we don't make sure that the the the, the electricity is paid so, so brothers have got AC or warmth. We don't make sure none of that. The building going to decay. The slothful man think that, that shit just appear here. It appear. It's just here. Because they're used to the appearing. Yeah. They don't worry about the building again because someone else is building the building for them. It's always there. They wake up, my bed is there. I can go down to the fridge, fridge is there. I got food, water, I got drink. I got transportation. My house. If I, if I want some money, I can always get money. That's because someone else is providing for them. They're lazy. They're bums. They're gluttonous. We're going to read that if we get to it. Probably we got to do part, ne- uh, ne- uh, part two next week, man. Uh, where we at? The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10 and verse 18. Go ahead. By much slothfulness, the building decayeth. Go ahead. And through idleness of the through hands. What? Through, idle, through what? Through idleness. Through of- idleness. Idleness teaches much, much evil. Throughout it, I mean, you ain't doing that. You ain't got no job. You ain't got no responsibilities. God says when you idle, go ahead. Through idleness of the hands, the house drop it through. The house just falls apart. The house going to fall apart. Get Proverbs 26 and 13. This is what brothers do right here. You hear a lot about this. Bro, you got a job? I applied. What, what happened? I don't know. I don't know. They never called me back. They didn't call me back. Okay, did you call them back? No. How many jobs did you apply to? Oh, uh, two. Two jobs. I'm going to tell y'all, man. I'm going to tell y'all. This is what I used to do. When I didn't have a job, I would get my ass up and walk to every single job in my community. Every job. I ain't give a damn if it was Macy's. I ain't give a damn if it was a Taco Bell, Wendy's. Right, a car I ain't give a damn if it was a corner store. Right. Car wash, hospital. Mm-hmm. Are y'all hiring? Let me get a job application. I should come on with 20 different job applications and fill all the things out. Bro, I'm going to tell you, my first real job, I worked at a community blood bank. A community blood bank. That was my first job, my first real job. At this job, you had to be a little bit of smart. <laughs> I ain't have no, you know, I ain't have no degree. No degree, yeah, no nursing or nothing. They had nothing. Well, they had basically what, what we were responsible for was, uh, you know, when the blood mobiles go out and take blood, mm-hmm. they would bring it back to the lab, and we would spin, put it in the spinner and separate the, the red blood cells from the, from the, from the uh, plasma and, and the platelets, and we would... We would separate them, put them in different bags, and we would sell them to the hospitals. Mm. So I would I used to be a lab tech, we was responsible for that, and a courier. So I would drive to all the hospitals in Florida, South Florida, North Florida, and deliver blood. Mm. Bro, I knew I wasn't qualified for that job. But when I tell you I called this dude every single day. Right. I'm not even joking. To the point where he was like, okay, we want to get you the job. And at the time he couldn't give me the job because I wasn't I wasn't uh 18 or damn, I think I what was I wasn't 21. So he couldn't give me the job. He said, When's your birthday? October 5th. He said, Hey, call me back in three months when you turn 21. And when I called, bro, I turned 21 that day. I called him. He said, hey, come on in. This man gave me the job, the very first interview, without even going to a third, fourth interview. He said, I have never had someone call me as much as you did. <laughs> Isaac called this dude three times a day. First thing in the morning, I wake up, step outside. I'm still in my pajamas. I call him. 
it went, he wouldn't even pick up because he ain't even at work. I called him, and I would leave a, a voice message. And then I called back in like a couple hours, and I get his secretary. I said, hey, uh, did, he, did he come in? She's like, no, he didn't come in yet, but you can leave voicemail. Cool. <laughs> Send me to the voicemail. I called three times. Bro, the dude said to this day, that at that time, no one has ever called him that many times, bro, for a job. He said, just because of that, I have to hire you. And I wasn't even qualified. I wasn't qualified for that. Right. Really good. <laughs> the book of Proverbs, chapter 26 and verse 13. The slothful man saith, there is a lion in the way. A lion is in the streets. Say, hey, they just sitting there making excuses. It's a lion in the way. Now, that's, that's the brother when you say, hey, man. Why you ain't do no fly missions? Oh, I ain't had no gas. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know another another person wanted to come with me to the fly mission. Hey, hey, why why you ain't go fill out no applications? Oh, nobody called me back. Like Cat was saying, man, you know, for unemployment, it's a man. You have to look for jobs by getting unemployment. They're like, we don't want you to stay on unemployment. So I need you to do at least ten job search a week. You can't even go do 10 job search a week to even satisfy the dog on white man <laughs> to give you money that they already owe you. <laughs> but, but hey, but hey, our people got to even, uh, they got to have a job to even get unemployment. <laughs> they even got no job to even to get unemployment from because it's a line in the road. It's, it's a line in the street, man. Hey, that line is that excuse. Right. It's always an excuse why you didn't do what you're supposed to do. You didn't get a job. Why? It's an excuse. Why don't you get up early? It's an excuse. Why you overslept? It's an excuse. Why you late? It's an excuse. Why don't you get the job done? It's an excuse. You hate your people, man. We don't. There is a lion in the way. A lion is in the street. A lion in the street. I can't go outside and go to work. It snowed today. It snowed today. Oh, today it rained. The The weather. The weather. You said the sun is the out. Sun I called three times. <laughs> right, I called three times. <laughs> Read on. As the door turneth upon his hinges, so doth the slothful upon his bed. So does the what? So, so doth the slothful upon his bed. So does the slothful upon his bed. You see that? I mean, the slothful always doing what? Sleeping. Sleeping. <laughs> sleeping. Don't do a damn thing but sleeps. Oh, I love mama. She gives me food. She gives me sleeps. <laughs> sleeps. Read on. Verse 15. The slothful hideth his hand in his bosom. Mm-hmm. It grieveth him to bring it again to his mouth. It grieveth him to bring it again to his mouth. Read on. The sluggard is wiser in his own conceit. Uh-huh. Than seven men that can render a reason. The sluggard is wiser his own conceit than seven men that can render a reason. The sluggard think he he no more than seven men, wise men. Oh yeah, and that's how they talk too when they talking to you. The sluggard be wise and bull. Like, so why why don't you want to do that? Hey, I want to be uh what they call them people that uh, find people that's hacking and stuff uh. uh a, a computer, they, they, they be thinking they want to do something. Uh, they, uh, they, no, a cyber security. Like, bro, you went to school for that? No, but I, I can be a cyber security. I, I can do this because all you need is this, this, and this. They talk to you like you dog. Like, right. bro, I know you need schooling right, for that, bro. Right. I need, I know somebody needs to teach you how to do that. Right. No, all you need is X, Y, and Z. And how about move, I'm going to sit back and I'm just going to make a record. Everybody going to buy my record. Everybody going to buy your record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna be a star on YouTube. Oh, hey, that's where my man. money gonna come from. <laughs> hey, you crazy, bro. Oh, crazy. You are crazy. You crazy. Hey, y'all, y'all crazy. Get up. <laughs> get uh hey, get that first uh article. Wiki how relationships, relationship issues. How to handle a toxic relationship with your adult child. Damn, a toxic relationship with your adult child. Read that. Is your adult child toxic? And if they are, what do you do about it? Co-authored by Jay Reed, LPCC, and Dev Murthy, MA. Signs, what to do, common causes of a toxic relationship, final thoughts, expert interview. 
Not getting along with your child can ruin your day, whether they're six or a full-grown adult. But sometimes conflicts with adult children can feel like more than just a bad day or a minor clash. Sometimes they're indic indicative of a larger problem with your dynamic. So how do you know if your relationship with your adult child is toxic? And if it is, what can you do to fix it? We've created a guide to understanding the root cause of your damaged relationship with your child, as well as steps to take to try to resolve the problem and bring you peace. Things you should know. Your relationship with your adult child may be toxic if they constantly insult or manipulate you, disrespect your boundaries, or blame you for everything. Setting strong boundaries or seeking therapy may help you handle your relationship with your child. In extreme cases, if your child refuses to respect your boundaries, it may be necessary to cut them off. Ooh. Go down. Don't worry, man. It's, going, it's good for you. You need this. Go ahead. Number one, they criticize you constantly. You're so selfish. You're a terrible parent. You're a horrible person. You're horrible. If you can't go one visit with your adult child without them criticizing or insulting you, your relationship may be toxic. If your child seems to view, view you as a second-class citizen what, what? to themselves, they may suffer from narcissism. Keep in mind that offering critique or voicing negative feelings about you or your parenting doesn't necessarily count as criticism. Personal attacks, especially if they're constant, are signs of a toxic and potentially emotionally abusive relationship. For example, if your child calmly says, sometimes it feels like nothing I do is good enough for you, and it really hurts, this may be an opportunity for you both to discuss your relationship and grow closer I, together. I, I wonder if that's been said in the household. Damn. Nothing I do is ever good enough. If it's said by one of my children, Man, get the hell but, out. But she ain't here no more. Mm, all praises. <laughs> she get go. The hell out. Go ahead. On the other hand, if they snap, you're the worst parent in the world. This would constitute criticism. It doesn't open the door for calm, sensitive discussion. In fact, it shuts down any possibility of real connection. Go down. Number two, they don't respect your boundaries. Mm -hmm. Healthy relationships are founded on respect of personal boundaries. Mm -hmm. If you try to put up strict boundaries with your child and they consistently push against them, it is a sign. It's a sign they don't respect you. They don't respect you. Or your needs. They don't respect you or your needs. And your relationship with them is likely toxic. Ooh. It's a, it's a sign, man. If they constantly push against your boundaries, that's a sign, y'all. It's a red flag. Ding, 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 ding. It's a red flag. Go ahead. For example, if your child asks you to babysit their kids and you say you can't, they may push against that boundary rather than accepting your right to turn them down. Go down. Read the next one. Number three. Uh-oh. They blame you for everything. Uh-oh. You're a human being, and you do not doubt. You no doubt made a, at least a few mistakes parenting your child. But if your child blames you for everything wrong in their life, and insist on playing the victim. Ooh, stop. There it is right there. Man. There it is right there. Playing the victim all the time. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. Yep. They play the victim. Oh, woe is me. I don't have anything for myself. Well, go get your own. Hell, you eating up all my damn cheese. Drinking all my milk. Eating all my ice cream, eating all my chicken, right? My lamb, my eating. Hey, every Sabbath you eating my damn unleavened bread. Right. Make your own unleavened bread. Right. Every time I go to the kitchen, kitchen, you in the, in the kitchen, kitchen. <laughs> eating all the lamb, all the leavened bread, all the chicken. I like eating chicken. chicken too. <laughs> but I like unleavened this? bread. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, read. It's a sign they haven't learned how to take accountability. Ooh. Didn't we just go with this? Man. It's a sign they haven't learned how to take accountability. Go ahead. For their own actions. Go ahead. 
Some of their blame may be valid and worth discussing with you so you can both grow past it. But if they blame you for everything, it's a sign they're using you as a scapegoat mm -hmm. to avoid taking responsibility for their life. And that's what happens. They use you as a scapegoat. Go ahead. Adult children. Children. Adult children. Adult children. <laughs> I could have said it was a D R. <laughs> E -E -N -N -N. Not not C H I L. Sal came out there. Adult children. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Adult children who refuse to accept responsibility for their own lives may try to insist they got fired. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Got done. Hold on, stop. Uh oh. Don't that sound familiar? Right. It's a line in the road. Fired on my day off. Right. Go ahead. <laughs> Come on. But if you're Adult you children. got fired, bro. Second row. Adult, just start adult. Adult children, children who refuse to accept responsibility for their own lives may try to insist they got fired. Got fired. Got dumped. Oh, you the reason why I can't talk to that brother no more. Dang. You the reason. You the reason. Right. So I'm gonna rebel against y'all. Cause you know y'all trying to save me. In my mind, I'm in love. Yeah, but you don't understand. I'm in love. <laughs> he understands me. He understands me. Y'all niggas don't understand shit. Right. He I'm in love with I've the never devil. Met him. <laughs> he told me about y'all. Right. <laughs> How I should have been gone. Yep. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm going to come down to get you. Right. That's what he say. But he ain't got a... I mean, come on, read. Bring read, it out. Read, read, read. Or made an unwise financial decision because of you. Go ahead. Go ahead. The, <laughs> the way you raised them. Something you did while they were growing up. Go ahead. Your failure to love them enough, etc. Your failure to love them. They blame you. You never loved me. Kids say that all the time. You never showed affection. Kids say that. For real, though. You were never there! <laughs> <laughs> but you're still alive. But you're still alive. I apparently I was there. You, you ain't dead. You ain't dead. You got clothes on your feet. You still sleeping yeah, you in, 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 in my room. My room, yeah. You, my bed. Hey, hey the, when it rain, it ain't getting on you. It ain't getting on you. Right. Go down. They're manipulative. Number, this, this is the main one right here. Number four, they're manipulative. A toxic adult child with will a toxic adult child will often employ manipulative tactics to get what they want from you. Mm -hmm. They may become passive aggressive uh -oh. to coerce you uh -oh. into giving them what they want. Mm -hmm. Or they may give you the cold shoulder. The what? The cold shoulder. The cold right. shoulder. Now you walk around the house and you ain't talking. Right. I ain't got nothing to say to you. Because you made me mad. Now you him downstairs. Right, him downstairs. Him downstairs. We don't. If you ever say no to them. Oh, say no to them. See if they still love you. Go ahead. What your child wants would differ from case to case. They may want money. Because they're a bum. Or material goods. they don't work. Or they may just feel powerful being a bully. Because you are soft. Go ahead. For instance. If your child asks for money and you tell them no, they may try to persuade you to give it to them by crying. Or Stop, man. Woo! Man. If they crying, they lying. That's right. What you crying for? What you crying for? <laughs> <laughs> if they crying, they lying. Man, I'm going to tell you straight, crying don't do nothing to me. Right. You, you cry my face if you want to. I may just laugh. Right. And you really going to feel... Some type of way. Just walk away. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Come back when you're not crying. Right. And then we can talk. For real, though. But if you start crying, in my mind, I'm laughing at you. Yeah, it's over. You know you know when women cry, it's just ugly. Right. The snot flow. <laughs> hey, you ever, you ever been talking to your wife? Yeah. You, you, you got to say yeah in front of everybody. Okay. Just tell me later. All right, got you. <laughs> You know, for the shit. I don't care. <laughs> hey, and she start crying, and that one snot line keeeps coming down, and she keeps she keep snucking it back up. <laughs> but that same snot line keeps coming down. <laughs> oh my just, just wipe the shit. <laughs> Blow it. Make you. <laughs> and it, it keeps coming back down. 
<laughs> I'm like, bro, come on, man. I'm going to take you serious right now. Blow, go blow your nose and then we can talk. <laughs> I guess I'm the only one. Okay, all right. I got you. You told me to tell you after yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah, you're right. 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 Don't say nothing right now. They're looking. Just tell me later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the crime, right? Right. The crime. They crying in line. You hear that, Jonah? They crying in line. Don't believe that crime stuff, man. Come on. They may try to persuade you. What to made give... me say Jonah? Hey, he proving. He got to learn. He okay. got to learn. The spirit made me say Jonah. Jonah looked at the top of that. He cried. Baby, baby, what, what, do, what do you want? want? What's wrong? What do you need? What do you I need do? a massage? <laughs> you need a foot <laughs> rub, foot <laughs> massage? Right right, baby, here, baby, here. please, please, come my here. rib. Come here. My rib. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean that. <laughs> here, here. Hey, 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 give me a napkin or something. Give me a napkin real quick. He gonna say, "Baby, blow." <laughs> I got you. No need to cry. Uh, blow. He ain't gonna throw it away. He gonna pull his pocket. Don't be no simp, man. I got you. Yeah, blow your own damn. I'm oh, sorry. I yelled at you. I'm oh, sorry. I yelled. Please. <laughs> Troubles in the flesh. Where we at, y'all? What we doing? <laughs> for instance, if your child asks for money, you tell them no. Go ahead. They may try to persuade you to give it to them by crying mm -hmm. or insisting that they really need it. Watch this. But making you out to seem like a bad parent. Go ahead. For withholding it. Oh, watch the next one. Or by simply Go ahead. ignoring you. Ignoring you. Until children do that. you give in. Children ignore you. You know my children ignore me? Well, not, not so they do, but when they start doing it, because they all do it, I'm going to ignore them. You don't want to talk to me? Take your ass to your room and don't come out. And I will bring you a half of a peanut butter jelly sandwich. <laughs> you know, you take the one bread yeah. and you fold it, <laughs> you fold it together. That's going to be your dinner, bro. Right. Until you realize you got a demon on you, that's going to be your dinner. Because I don't care. Yeah, the kids got to understand. We do not care. I don't care if you're mad. God don't care. Right. Who am I to get mad at God? Right. He's the creator. That's like, that, that bro, when the kids get mad at their parents, who are you? You, are, you ain't nothing without your mom and dad. They created you. But you're going to ignore them. You're going to get in with a solid treatment. Well, get the hell out. They're going to learn. Right. Get the hell out. You got to go. Bye bye. What, hey, what's it saying? Don't let the dough hit you. With a good low With splitcher. With a good low splitcher. That's what I say. That's what I say. Don't let the dough hit you with a good low splitcher. That dough go two ways. Right. Bye bye. Just, just let me know how it is on your own. But you ain't coming back. Uh, is that on this? All right, we're going to do a part two next week. Hey, all praises, y'all. We're going to finish part two next week. Stay tuned, all right? Shalom. Shalom. What is the nature? Shalom. Shalom. Nation is men leading by example. Oh, my God.